So here we are. It's Lost Probe 2.5, submitted by Alarak, who has submitted Lost Probe 1 and 2 to previous map arenas. The Probe, High Lord of the Tal'Darim and Slayer of Anacreon, is now on Anacreon's ship when he gets news from one of his supplicants. Read all information given to you very carefully, save often, and have fun. So, I may get stumped. We'll see. I guess that's what the chat is for to help me out. But uh, I'm going to do my best to try to figure these out myself. So, uh, you know, elementary don't back seating rule. Hi, Lord. I have news for you. Go ahead. Do you remember the purifier probes you found while on your hunt for Anacreon? We think we have found a way to permanently activate them. The purifier probes were powerful foes. Having them on my side would be useful. Show me your discovery. We've located the hidden purifier conclave. Our assumption is that there are AI personalities stored within, and we may use those personalities to activate the purifier probes. However, there seems to be some sort of security system. To retrieve a single personality, we have to cause enough damage to the Purifier Conclave to gain access to it. The problem is the security systems will put up defenses. So how will I deal with this issue, Supplicant? You can access the device controlling the security system. With it, you can view the defense's current layout and, in turn, find a solution to effectively pass through it to reach the Purifier Conclave. You can also warp in additional structures and units to aid you. Very good. Now let me retrieve these probes. So that thing is like our hub, I take it. We do all our planning from. Okay, we've got the lost pro. Let's read the hints. If you find yourself stuck, typing hint will give you a hint on what to do. And I think Alarak's done a good job with the hints in previous lost probes. Like in Lost Probe 2, for example, the hint, it by no means explains the puzzle to you. Which I appreciate. It, it legitimately is just a hint. Steals life and shields from a friendly structure or unit. Okay, so that allows us to basically delete things, which is nice. Move on to the beacon to gain access to the security console. Don't tell me what to do. Automatic hold position is on. Okay, I would like that. Photon cannons, that's all well and good. Right, and then you got the blink and recall. You gotta, like, you can blink. Those cost resources, so I shouldn't do it. But, uh, basically, you can, you can only blink to a structure that you own, and then... But you can't blink again. You have to use recall. Actually, no, you don't need to blink to a building. You need to recall to a building. So, like, I can blink anywhere, but then I can't blink again. The only way I can refresh blink is to use recall. And just, you go back and forth like that. Okay. Well, let's get started. Oh, God. Your objective is to reawaken the three purifier probes. To do that, you have to damage the purifier conclave with something powerful enough to break its shields. The High Lord supplicants have found partially functional disruptors to do the job. However, their defense is protecting the purifier conclave. In order to reach it, you'll have to strategically warp in additional reinforcements and order the disruptor where to move and to attack. Because the disruptor isn't fully functioning, this has to be done before going down to the purifier conclave area. It also requires power to function. Ordering the Disruptor to fire Purification Nova on the Purifier Conclave will let you reawaken one probe. You can still use your probes while down at the Purifier Conclave area. You can see how many minerals you will be able to use to warp in pylons and photon cannons. Start by placing down the obelisk. It will warp in the Disruptor. Then you get access to different orders you can give the Disruptor, as well as additional units and structures that can be warped in. You can use each command a specific number of times, which is displayed on the right of each command on the sidebar. The order that the Disruptor will execute is also displayed on the right side. Oh gosh, you can earn medals. Medals are an added challenge. 
optional. They will require you to play in specific ways to complete different puzzles. Well, we're just going for the completion here. So, it's all about spending, you know, fewer and fewer. Okay, so... Storm pylons deal heavy damage. If a box is in red, then the storm pylon can reach it. If a box is in blue, a storm pylon can reach that box if a structure is placed there, but some units may be able to walk outside its range in that box. It is not recommended to move the disruptor in blue squares. Okay. Okay. The obelisk will warp in a disruptor at its location. All obelisks are invulnerable. Disruptors are not invulnerable. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryu. We'll we'll figure it out. I I think I I mean it, you you learn by doing, right? So I assume I have to pick a location for the disruptor, right? So it'll start there. Okay, so I've moved it here. Is that correct? So let's read what some of these are. Moves the disruptor to the target location. When reaching the target location, it fires a purification nova at all adjacent boxes, not diagonal ones. And I can do that twice. Oh gosh. Okay, let's let's review these. A storm orb is an invulnerable orb of energy. It will attack just like storm pylons, but only if a storm pylon is in their range as well. The disruptor can move the storm orb. Can I undo? Is there like an undo button or does that just start us over? I just I'm just going to mess around a little bit here. I mean, I have an attack command. Cannot start because there are no probes on the map. The disruptor does not function without power, which is why probes are needed. Oh. Oh my god. <sighs> Got it. Okay, so let's let's undo pretty much everything. So <clears throat> let's just put the store let's just put the obelisk here. It starts here. We move it here. Are, can we destroy the storm pylons or are they are we doing are we meant to distract the storm pylons? Is is really what I'm looking for here. Moves the disruptor to the target location. When reaching the target location, it fires a purification nova to all adjacent boxes. Adjacent boxes. So we need to get it. We need to get the purifier here. Okay. I'm not gonna use hint. We're just we're just still exploring what the heck to do. So we have to use the probe. And then we... Oh, so we can put the probe anywhere. I guess I'm just... Let's just mess around a little bit. So just... Move through the... Just move through the blue. Even the red. Just move through them. So, I, 
I see. And then as it moves, I need to power it, right? So I can do this. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I blocked it basically. But I'd have to consume it. Or just destroy it. <laughs> I see, but I only have a certain amount of minerals as well. So how much HP does the Disruptor have? I can't even select it. I assume just like one hit and it dies. Oh my god, I keep putting pylons in the wrong spot. It would be nice if it highlighted where it was going to go. I mean, doing this does do that, right? So... <laughs> I mean, I know this isn't going to work. I just, again, I want to, I just want to mess around with it. Okay, and then those stun them as well. So, I can destroy the storm pylons. That's worth noting. Okay. Just restart the whole mission, I guess. So, again, I, I'm mostly just trying to figure out, using my using the information I have, should we be trying to destroy the pylons, or should we be trying to avoid them in some capacity? There's really no way to avoid them, per se. Right? So, again, we'll just start here. And it makes sense that we would just move through this bottom area, but the pylons that we drop would be in range of the storm pylons, right? So, once powered up and out of shields, out of shields, it, it, okay, so you're not targetable by storm pylons while being in adjacent boxes to the storm protector. Storm protectors are not invulnerable, but has a shield that can only be broken by the disruptor. Storm protectors that you warp in are already out of shields, but storm protectors that have been warped in by the defense system are shielded and will require to be damaged by the disruptor. And oh my god. I'm also I have no idea what the heck the storm orb is for. The other obvious thing is we... Is we just... We drop the probe and we just do a warp prism here and a warp prism over there, right? So, it's really that simple. Right, so that's where we start. Oh, there's a limit. There's a... It, it's only... It only you can only warp two squares. Okay, well that changes things. Okay, move, move, move. If we warp prism here, and then here, that I don't think will work, but we can try it. Again, we've gotta we've gotta try this. I think blue basically means the disruptor's not gonna. The, the disruptor's not gonna work. And then we, we put our probe here. Or we could, well. The disrupt, only the disruptor can use the warp prisms, I imagine. Yeah, tell me about it, Jericho. I've been looking at it, and I still don't really know what I'm doing. So this probably won't work, but again, we, we're experimenting a little bit. Okay, so that is basically displaying where it's going to move next. So we can pylon it here. Can I 
but I can I mean I can blink the probe through this or I can I can move the probe around the outs outskirts right so again this shouldn't work oh oh uh, well it's not powered first of all Perhaps what I could do is set up a, a warp, uh, uh, a shield battery. Go! Go, my friend! I think I've done it. Uh, which, which way does he, is he going to move? Do I have him moving after this? I think he's going this way. Will this hit him? I think this technically will hit him. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it! Why did- Ah! I don't remember the way that I had this stupid thing moving, so now I have to waste all this extra money. I wish- You know what would be a really nice addition is if there were like a little green arrows that basically show the move commands that you have planned out for it. He's done it. It's just that easy. Was it, though? <laughs> so we should get an extra probe for this. So that's just going to make it more complex, I think. Hang on, let me turn my music up. Oh, no, it is, it's already pretty loud, actually. I am awakened. Greetings. I have indeed awakened you. You are not an Acreon. Who are you? I am Probe, High Lord of the Taldorim and Slayer of Anacreon. What? You killed Anacreon? You monster. I am the monster? He left me alone in a Taldorim temple to die. He put your AI in the Purifier Conclave, so it looks like he did not want you in this world anymore either. Hmm, fine, you are correct. So, what else are you doing here? I am re reawakening you and your friends. I see. Thank you, Probe. I will aid you. Okay, I think I understand the basics. Right? I understand the basics deals double damage compared. All right, so these are the these are the special probes now. So now we can place a second probe, I imagine. A bronze medal. That was just because I didn't it's just the stupid, you know what I mean. You know what the issue is. Don't speak to me about it. All right. Put you in the bottom right. So now we've got probe 304 as well. So we know that we if we're fast enough we, we're able to move through one blue square, essentially, with the Disruptor. So, I don't see anywhere where the, the warp pylon would really work. So, once again, I've got this. Once powered up and out of shields, Storm Protectors cause all friendly units and structures, including itself, to become untargetable by Storm Pylons. So, in theory, if we powered this thing, we would need to put a pylon probably here-ish. Power it up. So, uh, wait. Well, okay. Let me get back to this. Storm protectors that have been warped in by the defense system are shielded and required to be damaged by the disruptor in order to function. So, we have to figure out how to get the disruptor, like, here to this square, and then we damage it, activate it, power it. If it's powered, then anything adjacent to it will be immune from this storm pylon. What I need to see is, I basically need to see if somehow we could, like, if this would work. You know what I mean? I'm curious to see if this would somehow work, <clears throat> like, if these blue squares are traversable or not. I'm going to assume no, but 
Again, we need to experiment. That's the only way. And then we just put the probe down here. Yeah, see, I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze through that. I wonder if this is in range or not as well. No, okay. Yeah, see, and then it's powered down there. It's funny because these aren't really even fully in range of the pylons. I think maybe what it's doing is it's kind of showing us what we need to do. So we have two of these ourselves. We have storm protectors. So maybe we use one basically here. Well, the, we can't get a pylon here to power the disruptor to actually move in that direction. We could do a pylon here and start the disruptor here and then move it this way to like here. We can only shoot twice, though. I think. Oh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to restart. I want to warp back. By the way, also, first off, you know, it'd be nice if if your move commands were were telegraphed on the on the grid, and then second, when you die, I think it should just warp you back rather than just going to a defeat screen. Like the the there there's no point in even having a defeat trigger. It just it just wastes time. Oh, okay, cool. So, so this one is what gets you hit. Got it. Okay, so... It's gonna spawn here, right? We basically, we, we're gonna pylon here. No. Yes. We pile on here, and then move it this way, and then we put a shield battery here. Which will allow us to skirt around it. And get up to this. We can attack multiple times, so that's not a problem about, about powering stuff up. In fact, if we can be, if we can be, um, okay, let's, uh, again, this is all about experimentation. So we're going to put a, a, a shield battery here. We're going to go like this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Undo. Uh, we're gonna go like... Wait, undo again. We're gonna go like this. That's gonna activate the shield battery. Oh, no, I don't have to attack it. I don't even have to attack it. Jesus. So... We pile on here and here. If we, if we pile on here, well, the pylon would get destroyed while it's building, right? So we pile on here. And here. Hang on. If we just spawn right here in the first place, how about that? And then we put this here. And then, so it's going to spawn here, and then we make a pylon in this square. It powers the disruptor and the shield battery, right? So well, let's put let's put Probius or Proberac rather where the pylon needs to go. We power this. The disruptor can move right here, so we go like this, and then blow this thing up, and then that should open up pretty much all of this. Right, and then we're going to have to move up and repower it, but let's continue our movement pattern here. Here, and then a diagonal shot here. This all needs to be powered in some fashion. We can probably power right here, or over to the right. 
So this would be activated, which allows us to skirt by, like, this. We blow this up all along the way. Okay, assuming that we can get pylons down, this would work. And the gold medal only allows for... The gold medal only allows for three pile. I shouldn't care about the medals, honestly. I think I think this would do it. I don't know though. I'm also assuming that the disruptor blast would kill the the storm pylons, and maybe it won't. If it doesn't, we're in trouble. Also, I think in, I think technically we're out of range of this, but if not, then we can we can just move down one tile here. Let's try this and see if it works. The, the, there's a different attack command. One hits diagonal. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> How fast can we get a, a pylon down? Got him. Okay. So here, here, get roasted. Oh! <laughs> I see. It destroyed the, it's, yeah, the, it even says there's friendly fire. So we need to change this attack command. to this. Right? Because we can't we don't want it destroying the pylon that we had set up. It's dirty. Here. Here. I'd almost wish that I could I could, there was like a placeholder where I could determine where I'm going to put the pylons as well. Like there, I, I wish there was more visual indicators that I could use to pre-plan as opposed to having to go into the map and play it out. Okay. Let's try it like this. Jesus. This is very clever, I will say. Like, it took some time to understand what the heck was happening. But once you do, it's pretty satisfying. Okay, so we're going to come through here. We're going to destroy this thing. And not lose all of our shit. Hmm. Well, this poses a different problem. I mean, look, I don't care about the metals, right? So we just do this. That's going to be in range. I think I have it going across like this. It might be better to, to move... It would have been better to move down and around so that we could put a pylon here instead. Again, let's, 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 there's no shame in just keep trying different things here. I don't see, I don't know how we could use the second probe to really help here either. But, we have it, so. Um. So again, we're depowered once we come through here. If we use our first pylon here, maybe what I can just do is, is move it, move the shield battery over. A little bit. Right, so if we do it here. If we can sneak Probius down here. Uh, that's probably hit. That's probably hit by a thing. But um, we do our first pylon here instead. No, that won't power the disruptor far enough to get over to this to, uh, to diagonally attack there. We need a pylon here and here, basically. Destroy that, and then we can get... And then I'd have to change all the move commands.
like that. All right, so we always need to leave one slot open around the shield battery. This needs to be a pylon, basically, right here. So this this has this would be a pylon. So pylon, 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 pylon. I think honestly, I think the way I had it would have worked. That would destroy the shield battery, but I don't think that's necessary. Well, as long as we're fast enough, it would be fine. This is a little more janky, but let's try it. And we're not spawning in range. Yeah, yeah, Miasmatic, I feel ya. Again, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm not worried about the medals, and here I am like, I've gotta get the medals! So if I move it there, it's gonna be depowered, right? So, like I said, I need a pylon here. We're gonna blow up this thing, but that's... Okay, I think, and then the disruptor's gonna move down here. Oh, so we have to do it from here. I think I had it. I think I think my original plan pretty much worked. I think my original plan pretty much worked, and I, for some reason I decided to undo it uh, because it was pylon power, right? So once again, I'm just gonna <clears throat> get started here again. Maybe. Okay, let's put that there. We pile on here. We put this here. Starts here. We're, it, we, one pile on here, and it's able to go... It's able to make it to this location. Right? So, we just have to go, like... This. We need a pylon here and here. And I'm fairly certain that it can... It, this covers all four of these, right? So once we we do a diagonal attack, it's going to destroy that. We have a pylon there, so we can keep moving. And we have to do it quickly, else that pylon, I think, would technically get us, right? So... And then we need a pylon up here, pylon in the in this right here, I think, area. This would be covering us, so we can go here. Like that. And then we move up and, and apply more pylons where necessary, basically. Probably right there. And then we do that. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, so first step, we power here. And then this also needs power. Technically, again, if I just spawn the disruptor here, I'm trying to think so that I don't need two pylons here, but this is fine. Okay. It's still powered. I think, I think here... Because it's going to go up. Really? 
Really? Really? Fucking stupid. I feel like the pylons should cover everything around them like that. Again, this is that's that's really unfortunate. Okay, so then we need a pylon here. Oh, I never activated it. I never activated it. I need to activate this. So then we attack here to activate it, and then we move up again and attack diagonally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Your brain is confused? Try playing it. Try playing it. <laughs> okay, so again, I need to remember where my pylons are supposed to go. Again, I don't know if it would make a difference if I just moved this over one. All right, so there. And then this one here. This needs to be a... <coughs> Oh, I have to I have to move it first. So go here. Diagonal attack. And then we immediately have to move down to avoid the next pylon, right? Well, we need a pylon here, so we go here, 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 here. Up. Up. That's a pylon. I think we learned that we could go here. We would be safe here. Again, the only problem with the grid is it's not it's just not clear enough on where the disruptor could be to not get attacked. I think that's the main thing. It's like it's just not it's just not clear enough for that. Then a diagonal attack. Then we can move up and just build a pylon there, which covers us to the end. Let's try this. By the way, I still... I'm still not sure what to do with the Storm Orb. An invulnerable orb of energy will attack just like Storm Pylons, but only if a Storm Pylon is in their range as well. Why would we ever want to use this? I assume it's, it's, a, friendly, it's a friendly orb? This is the only thing, Alarak, maybe if you could if you could clarify in the chat. I have no idea what this is supposed to be used for. Hey Salad. Uh you missed trying to figure out how the heck to do anything. <laughs> In any case, I think this would work. Oh, next level. So don't. So it's there's no there's nothing here. Okay, so let's try this. So we need a pylon here, then a pylon here, pylon here. Again, I wish I could. I wish I could put markers down to basically remind myself where the pylons need to go. That would be a really nice quality of life. And then also, like I almost think the pylon radius should just be a square so that it covers every part of the surrounding tiles, but again, I don't... That's just, like, my opinion, man. Okay, and then in advance, I need this. All right. So, pylon here, I remember now. Pylon here. Move. 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 Attack. Attack. Oh, okay, I'm powered down. That's alright, that's alright. I believe... 
Ah, shit. Well, I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to destroy my own pylon, because I didn't really plan this out. I would have just- I mean, to save mon- well... To save money, I would have just needed to have the disruptor go straight up, as opposed to over to the right. So instead, now I'm gonna have to put this down and then destroy it. So now I have to self-destruct this one, and then build a pylon here. Again, I could've- I could've gotten the gold, I think. I think that- you know what? Let's fucking do it. I mean, I know this will work, so I could definitely do it. <clears throat> right, so, the only difference here... ...is we do this. So we have a pylon here, and then we build another one right there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> here comes the greed, yeah. Yeah, imagine planning this. Like, being the one to have built this whole thing, this whole system is nuts. Oops. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the, the only thing is, like, I almost, I think it would almost make more sense if you could pre-place the pylons. I think you should be able to maybe, I, I, well, I don't know about that, but, or at least maybe put markers down where you think they should go. That would be... Okay, and then move fast. Here, and then here. Okay, and it's safe there. You wouldn't think it would be, but it is. In this particular instance, it's safe. And then pylon here. And then we need one more, right? Alright, we did it. Oh god! <laughs> oh gosh. So that's two of three. Probe 683. Hello, my friend. Ugh, who put my AI back into this probe? This one also does double damage. <clears throat> I did Probe 683. Who are you? Probe 304. Can you tell him? I do not want to repeat myself. Sure. So both of these... In Lost Probe 2, they both had... They, 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 all three of them had, like, different cannons that did different things. It, in this case, now they just deal extra damage, that's all. But they cost twice as much. <clears throat> Alright, new thing. I, why did I get... Why do I have extra medals now? Something is amiss. Something is amiss here, but regardless. Okay, so... Pylon. Its only purpose is to body block. Does this power things? We could check. I doubt it, but I gotta, I gotta look. Ah, uh, I, yeah, that's the only thing, like, I can't get in there and look. It's an enemy pylon. It's an enemy pylon, so no. Let's see if we can find any clues. Alright, first off, let's go back and then quick save. Alright, what is this? Storm Gatherer. It can only be attacked by lightning attacks. If attacked by a storm pylon, it will overload and destroy both itself and the storm pylon. 
If attacked by Storm Orb, it will overload and destroy both itself and the Storm Pylon that the Storm, Storm Orb used to be able to attack. So, we may be able to use these to destroy these outermost ones, which means we're probably going to be going up and around. We can use this to protect ourselves from this one and this one. We definitely something went awry with the medals here, that's for sure. I got one of every medal last time. I'm pretty sure that I got the gold though. All right. So where do we want to start? So one one thing I've learned basically, I think like these two, the disruptor can move to and not get killed, but we can't. I don't think we can put pylons there because they will get killed. Maybe I should double check that. And in fact, let's do exactly that. I have two shield batteries, but we have to power them if we want to use them. So if we move here, if you get gold, you get bronze and silver too. Got it. Okay. It's purposeful. I'm still not sure what the the extra probes really are for, because it's not like we have an issue navigating the map with a single probe, but maybe, maybe it's so that you can blink and recall to them. I'm not sure. We also have the warp prisms. There's The thing is, there's so many different options here. There's a, so many different options. We, I think maybe the first thing we might want to do is just destroy this pylon. So what we can do is spawn here. Pylon here to get moving. It's in a safe location. And we just drop an attack right there. Destroy the pylon. Right? Oh, but I can't... Mmm. Mmm. So you, you can't move command through things that you assume are being destroyed. I see. Alright. So I think we obelisk here. We diagonally shoot there. The pylon goes here. No, that still won't work because I can't move through that. The pylon goes in the bottom left. <clears throat> then we can move here. We need to power this. We we put a pylon here, <clears throat> which would so that would that should cover moving Here, I think that blue square is safe, right? So we pylon here at the beginning and then up here next. <clears throat> that will cover, that will power the shield battery and allow us to basically move in this direction. With that all being said, our existing pylons aren't getting hit by our disruptor shots. <clears throat> and we're basically safe to move like to here. We can move to here before we get powered down, essentially. Next, so, so we can get up to this without getting powered down, like I said. Uh, and then this would be active, so these two squares are safe. Now I have to figure out how to use the storm orb. <sighs> okay. The storm orb is an invulnerable orb of energy. It will attack just like storm pylons, but only if a storm pylon is in their range as well. What is their range? How do I know that? Same range. The disruptor can move can move the storm orb. What I could do... It says it is the same range 
I, I have to I have to get into this to see what the heck to do, first of all. I think we, we use the one orb and then we have to push it to like here-ish. If we can push it right here, then I think it would technically overload the Storm Gatherer. Again, we just ha I just have to mess around with this. I think my move commands are good so far. What I'm thinking is we do another shield battery here. A pylon here, because this is protected, and then we just keep moving up. Right? So, in theory, if I put... Oh. <laughs> if we put this here... Hey, it said I could push it. I thought the whole idea is I could push it. So, like, I, if I put it in my path, then I, I push it, and I basically can destroy these two and these two. But I guess not. What's that? Okay. I had to open a jar. Um, I'm just super confused on, on how... Oh, I see. Warps the storm orb to this location when the disruptor reaches the box right before it. Why doesn't it let me move it up there, I wonder? Like, why is this, why is this closed off? I wonder. <clears throat> like, why would I want to move there? You said the storm orb can be anywhere, but it doesn't seem like it. Because it can't, I can't put it in any of these locations. Hey, Zarakim. Thanks for joining us today. Again, I, I feel like this isn't this isn't as advertised, right? Like, why can't I, I, in theory, would just put this here? Like, why can't I put it like down here, but not up there? In any case, I'm safe to move up to here. We put a pylon here. Wait. Why don't we just destroy it? Why don't we just destroy it? It's just that easy. Right? So, the shield battery, this gets destroyed. But we don't need it anymore because we're in range of the new... No, we would destroy both. And then we're in range of this. Well, that's okay. Is we destroy it and then immediately move up, and we should be fine. So pylon here powers us to move to this location. Once again, we we just leapfrog up, move to that. It's too close. If it's too close to a storm gatherer, it'll immediately overload, and that kills the fun of the puzzle. So we need to move it into range. I think is is what you're saying. All right. I again, I I understand what you're saying, but it's it's just you know, kind of BS. That's all. So 
So we put this here. We move here. Warps the storm orb. I, again, I still don't fully understand the storm orb warping. Warps the storm orb to this location when the disruptor reaches the box right before it. This also functions as a normal move command. Does not work if the first if it's the first command after the obelisk. Again, I need to get it like here-ish. Brett! Oh, you got a new laptop. Congrats, man. If we do it like... Like this? I have no idea. Again, I'm confused by the blue move command, so let's just go and see if this will work. I mean, this won't work, but let's try it anyway, is what I'm saying. I'm happy for you, Brett. I'm glad you I'm, I'm glad you got that. Oh, you fuck. Well, none of this will work anymore. None. This whole thing won't work. I have to use the storm orb, but I just don't understand how the heck it works. It's not clear enough. I think that just needs to be. I think the storm, the whole concept of the storm orb needs re-explained in a way that makes even the remotest amount of sense. That's the only thing. Yeah, man, we had a lot of fun with Tabletop Simulator last night. I think we're gonna play again on Sunday if you're if you're uh, available. It will attack just like storm pylons, but only if a storm pylon is in their range as well. So if I put it here, I, I, I just don't understand. Again, I thought that the blue move is what would allow us to get it in range of this. And it's it's it, you can't really experiment with it, unfortunately. The blue scare is where we get hit, but again, at this point, we're assuming that these are destroyed because we're pushing the storm orb in range of the storm gatherer, so it would overload. I'm just gonna... I just want to see how this works, that's all, so let's just start. I just want to see if this, if this works at all. So I don't even need to attack that because my probe can do it. So don't need to do that. Lesson learned. Thing that doesn't kill me. Okay, the storm orb did move. Okay, so that does kind of work how I need it to work. It 
It's, that's, again, it's, it's very confusing, but I think I get it now. That would get hit? Yeah, just wanted to test that out. I don't care how much money I use now. I just wanted to experiment with the Storm Orb first. So we couldn't get it far enough to, to overload this one. We could just destroy the Storm Gatherer, though. We just move here and blow it up. It'd be funny if we just... If we just... Well, I was going to say, we just move fast enough. You just move through this. It'll take a one hit, but you just do it quick enough, and then we just blow it up. Because I think we're safe here. I, honestly, this... We can we can do it this way. It's kludgy, but it'll work. And I'm, I'm a little... I was just... I'm so... I got so confused by the way the storm orb works that... So, okay. So I think I understand now what you're saying, uh, Alarak. The storm orb, it, it, we just put it like there. It doesn't matter where it's at. Right? So... Well, it does matter where it's at because it says... Um, when the disruptor reaches the box right before it. So we need to put it somewhere that is close, close by. Right? So, like, again, right there makes sense. I think the the confusing part about this is what is the whole when the disruptor reaches the box right before it. That is so that's too vague. So like again, I had I had it placed here, but I moved to this location. I guess I'm technically in the box right before it, but I'm facing the other direction. What if then I just use move commands and I do like a leapfrog where like I'm technically in front of it, but it's the box right before it. You know, that's again, that's the confusing part that makes no sense to me. So if we destroy this one and we blow up this, uh, I think technically it doesn't matter because I won't need it anymore. So if we if we blow up these two and then just immediately move up, then we'll be out of range of this storm pylon, no problem, right? So then... We're going to move up here. We put the storm pile on there, I guess. And then... See, again. When the disruptor reaches the box right before it. Is this... I, I don't know. I just... I don't know. In theory, this should hit both of these and overload it. Right? So... I, I don't know. This may or may not work. Let's try it. Okay, so we destroy that. <clears throat> we get the pylon. I think we're safe. Uh, the disruptor's safe if it moves there. So I think maybe we'd want to do that instead. The only downside is I think by moving that, by changing that move command, it. Like if I remove this one, it removes everything. Yeah, that's a bummer. So we go here. 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 Here, destroy, which allows us to be safe to move up here. So, if you have a storm orb move command as five, the storm orb will move to five once. No, I, I understand that. I 
again, it's just it's just being clear on when this triggers. At what point exactly does this trigger? Okay, I think this will work. No, I don't need the shield battery. I only needed one shield battery. I shouldn't need another one. Okay, so this pylon should cover it to move up to at least here. Oh, I need to activate it. I need to activate it. God damn it. <laughs> It's just these, all these things. I just need to activate it. Which again is gonna, uh, it's gonna delete all my other commands as well. So this needs to be attack, move, attack. Again, I, again, the, the purple moves. Again, we just have to see how it works, that's all. Again, this is essentially pushing it, but I'm never actually in the tile before it per se. I think of a better way to word it, if I'm understanding it correctly, is... Warps the storm orb to the location when the disruptor reaches a box adjacent to it. I think that... If I'm understanding, that's what this really means. I think. So maybe Alarak, if you wanna if you wanna confirm that. It reaches the order before the storm move command. So it doesn't even matter where we place this originally. I see. I see. Thank you. That clarifies it. It is not adjacent. It has nothing to do with adjacency at all. Thank you. Thank you. That does clarify it. Alright, let's try this, because I still think this should work. All right, we kill this very slowly. It's fine. It makes a lot more sense now to me. I have to let it let that sink in maybe next puzzle. Good. Okay, we're safe. Okay, got a power here. Mm. And I have it moving basically straight up. So this is going to cover it to move here and here. And as it moves from here to the next one, it's going to run out of power. That's in range. Ah, bitch. Actually, oh, okay, good. It's safe. We're safe here. That's fine. We are safe. That would get hit, but it's fine. I technically could, I could have destroyed this with the storm orb in retrospect, but at this point it doesn't even matter to me. Okay. He's done it. All right, well... No metal, here we come. I, I understand now. It took me a while, but I understand. Yeesh. Okay. No, I, 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 I yeah, I wasn't trying to, I, I'm not trying to, you know, 
go, you know, say that this, how dare you? It's just more like, it was confusing. It was just simply confusing on the description of that, of that command. Because again, I interpreted it as I needed the disruptor to be close to it in the first place. Who awakened me? 304, tell him. Will do, High Lord. Hi, Lord. We have found a Nerazim probe frozen in stasis. Oh, a new one. The probe must be very dangerous if Anacreon put it in stasis. It would be wise to retrieve its AI personality. We may be able to adjust it later if the probe becomes too dangerous. Oh, it's got a flower. Do not give me orders, supplicant. But your advice is wise. I will accept it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's been like an hour and a half. Alright. Retrieve the near- is this- so I assume this is the last one in that case. So we can use these... I think we could technically destroy these storm pylons if we get the storm pylon in range to like this area, right? So... That's step one. If we power this, I don't know how we would power this, simply because I can't get a pylon in range because of these. Let's look at our options first and foremost. So we have to start there. I don't think I'm supposed to have access to, to probe 297. Oh no, yeah, no, that, no, that's the one we just saved. All right, this is the last one. So, again, the hardest challenge here is going to be how do we power this up? I think we're going to have to we're going to have to leapfrog another another shield battery. So if we we can't put any buildings So here's the thing. The disruptor can move to certain blue tiles. You definitely can't put buildings there, because they will get destroyed. We would need to eventually push this to, like, this blue tile or this red tile to kill these storm pylons. We're gonna have to do some experimentation here, for sure. Yeah, Warp Prism is available, but it's not clear to me how we could use it properly here. Right? Because where would we warp to? Because it only lets you move, I think, two tiles. Oh, why do we have five, only five normal move commands, but 62 Storm Orb commands? Yeah, the, the Warp Prism only moves the Disruptor, so that really only helps if we can warp it into an area that's safe. So we need to power this up, and in order to power that up, we need to be able to get the probe up here in the first place. And in order to do that, we'd probably need to use another shield battery. That's the only way that I can see this working. I think we have to use a shield battery here. I think we have to. Unless someone has a better a better idea. I'm I'm like 90% sur sure we've got to put a shield battery here. Just because again, I I I I I don't see another option. So what that's going to do, we have to power it and we have to Let's see. Storm protectors are invulnerable. Okay, so this one, we just need to power. We don't need to, to attack it. This one, we're going to need to attack, so we'll keep that in mind. Assuming that we can get this one powered up. Yeah, so I think ultimately, we're going to need to do a diagonal attack here. It'll destroy this disruptor, but it will activate this one. So we're going to need like a pylon here and here to start moving. So I think what we're going to have to do... I'm a little confused how we only have five move commands, but but 62 
for the storm orb. I think what that's going to do is force us to have to start moving the storm orb, storm orb early. Which is fine. Let's just stick with move commands for now. How are we going to move the... Disruptor. How are we going to move the Disruptor? I think we have to use the Warp Prism, actually. Well, hmm. I might be able to use the Warp Prism here. So if we move here and then Warp Prism here to here. And then we put a pylon here. Right? So we start, we move. We get up. We have to basically start by putting a pylon here to power the, the thing, which is going to make everything invulnerable around it. Then we move up, and because it's invulnerable, we put a pylon here. That allows us to move the disruptor up and over to this location, where it would then do a diagonal attack. Oh, I can't. I technically, uh, I need, I need to be able, I need to, I need to land and then move over there. Damn, I thought I had that kind of figured out, but that's not going to work. Again, she can't, like, move into the pylon. Alright, and I, I gotta set a timer for this, because I've spent, I've spent almost 90 minutes on this, and it's not really fair to some of the others that I stopped earlier on that I could have beaten if I would have put this much time into them. So... I, yeah, I understand the blue move commands. It's just... It doesn't even matter if I can't get out of my initial starting location, right? I, again, I'm fairly certain that the, a, a shield battery needs to be here. Again, I'm like 90% sure. And then keep in mind that that keeps all of this safe, assuming it's powered. Right, so we go here. So we need a pylon in one of the safe... It, uh, we need a pylon in one of these two locations, period. It needs to happen, which means that the disruptor needs to move the other, the other way. Or we could leapfrog pylons. That would be fine, too. We just have to destroy it, and then no more gold medal. And honestly, I think that's acceptable. So, again, that's the hardest part, is figuring out where we can put pylons to move. I'd like to move these. Oh, there's even more puzzles after this? Oh, gosh. Perhaps you uh, you underestimated how quick it would take someone to uh, to figure out how the heck half of this works. Again, just using process of elimination. Actually, we can move the disruptor here first, which means we put a pylon here. No, that doesn't even matter. That, that doesn't even work. That doesn't even work. You do whatever you think is right, Alarak.
again, does does uh, does anyone have does anyone have any ideas around? I, I I'm so certain. I feel so certain that we have to put a shield battery here. The problem again with that is like I can obviously move the disruptor this way, but how do I power the disruptor? I can't power it. So I'm stumped before I feel like I've even gotten to the meat of this puzzle. Well, the storm orb needs to connect to both a storm pylon and a storm gatherer in order to, in order to. Wait, wait a minute. I think that these storm pylons would technically be attacking this. Am I crazy to just think that I could just move straight up into this and destroy it? Because these should, from the beginning, be attacking this powered down shield battery. Is that it? Is it just that easy? Hey, let's test it. See, because they're already attacking that. I, I doubt this is going to work. I have a feeling when I get too close, it's good. they're going to change what they're attacking. Yeah, see? Yeah, whatever gets closer. That changes things, though, because in theory... No, see that? Yeah, they, 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 they prioritize you, because of course they do. What if we do this? They, oh, they hit everything in range. They hit every single thing. Man, I thought I thought that <laughs> that would work somehow. How much longer? Honestly, like I I think I pretty much hit the hit the time cap here. I can always save and come back to it at a different day, but uh, I think I think I'm about to shut down. Let me give this one more go to to kind of break out of our starting area, and then we'll go from there. So again, we know for sure that buildings cannot function in these blue squares. So we need to figure out how to shut these down. If we want to move the storm thing, we would need to, well, hmm. Just put this somewhere. I would need to move it to there. That's the only way it gets in range of the Storm Gatherer and the Storm Pylon. So if we could maybe start with the Storm Orb and get it pushed far enough over. But I can't, uh, I don't think I can get it far enough to and protected by a, a shield battery. Again, I can only get a shield battery. A shield battery would cover Well, no, I mean, like I said, I'll, I'll play this another time, but for today I'm going to stop, so I'd rather, you know, don't give me a solution. I'll, uh, I'll have to come back and solve it on a different day. So that would only cover these four. That does not help me. Unless... Galaxy brain time, boys. We can't power it. We can't power it to move. We can't power it. That's the that's the that's the hold up. We can't power the disruptor to move forward to push the ball far enough 
Unless the warp prism counts as... I kind of want to try this just because I'm curious. So just add an attack command so that it allows us to start. Ah! So the warp prisms are invulnerable. Oh, that's not going to work. Gotta do some janky shit here. Uh, well, I was gonna say, maybe if I... I just have to be really, really fast. I only have to click it once, and it should in theory destroy it, right? Push it! Push it! Oh, it, it, yeah, because it didn't have power. That's the thing. It didn't have power. Not gonna work. God damn! Yes, he certainly can die. Well, let me make a solid save here. Oh, it was already. And one day... Uh, two and a half. Uh, we'll return and uh, and we'll pick up right where we're left, where we have left off, to solve this puzzle. But for right now, I think I think we've got to we've got to to call it quits uh, and move on to the next one. Very interesting concept. Apparently, there are even more puzzles after this as well. So it's not just this. Again, I think. It's pretty incredible to imagine that you reverse engineered this to make these puzzles work, Alarak. Uh, I mean, I think the complexity is in understanding the mechanics, for sure. Uh, once you kind of understand them, you can kind of get on a roll, but clearly I wasn't able to complete this specific puzzle. Um, and again, since I, I've got a, I've got a full-on save, so I can... Uh, I can return to this and perhaps complete it. Because I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to be given the solution. Um, yeah. Again, we'll we'll Jabo avenge that one, just like a lot of the other ones that we weren't quite able to finish. I'm just going to be thinking about that for a while now, about how to even just break out of that starting section. We have so many disruptor moves that I feel like it it's going to become relatively um, simple to destroy the storm pylons, but we need to get to that point. Whew, okay, yeah, I need to I need to decompress a little bit after that one. Again, the the more challenging part was just understanding. I, I got stuck for like ten to fifteen minutes just understanding how to move the the energy ball, and, but it's, it was actually so much simpler than I realized. That again, I could have solved that puzzle so much faster. I just didn't. I just didn't get it. It was, but it was so much simpler. So so much simpler than I was. Uh, than I was I was thinking. So, that's a bummer.